We're all familiar with the three arrows of the recycling logo, designed to show continuous, evolving process. But when you deposit your empty bottle or container, have you ever thought about what happens next? So we've created a true closed loop system. There's a lot of talk about closed loop. We truly have done it here by taking in post-consumer bottles, recycling them, putting them back into a, a product, which then ends up back on a store shelf. We run three or four different plants under one roof. First plant of its kind anywhere in the world. Because of the way that we put the plant together, we have the lowest carbon footprint packaging and other products anywhere in the world or among the lowest, if not the lowest. We start with baled post-consumer PET, which is picture a big hay bale, but it's a bale of PET instead, weighs 1,000, 1,200 pounds. We process it through a sorting process, grinding, washing, decontamination, solid stating, raising the IV. Then we put the material right back into preforms for bottles, for example, or into sheet, which we then will press into thermoform containers. So after the wash process, we send the wash flakes to the decontamination process. This part of the process is where we introduce nitrogen. The nitrogen is so important to be very pure. We have a 99.99% nitrogen purity from Alice Topco to prevent oxygen molecules getting and causing reactions on the flake, which would result in a yellow water bottle. Our challenges historically around nitrogen were uh, the high cost of liquid nitrogen. Uh, we were actually pulling too much nitrogen, so that was affecting the equipment. And we had trucks showing up every eight hours or so, refilling the tank. Alice Copco did a very fantastic job of being with us at every part of the installation process. We had a lot of questions on purity, capacity, redundancy, upkeep, and they really brought it all together in one package. Even during commissioning, when we turned the machine on, they were there the entire day. The project was the biggest cost savings project we've done to date in our short history at our planet Earth, but we're looking to save you know, almost $80,000 a month in liquid nitrogen costs. Behind me are two great NGP 550 nitrogen generators. You see two systems so our planet can have redundancy. These generators are smart link enabled. We use a lot of compressed air. Um, it's a key utility. We can't run our plant. In fact, without compressed air, essentially we're not sorting anything and our contamination levels go through the roof. We thought it was important to do something that's good for the earth. We want to obviously leave it in a better place than where we found it. Our vision at our planet Earth is to have zero plastic waste on our planet Earth.